Okay, welcome again. This is the second follow-up video for the NRF 24L01 uh, radio transceiver modules. Uh, and this time, we will try to interface these two modules to the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so as we saw last uh, in the last video, we interface this module with the Arduino, and we succeed to transmit data among two. Uh, nodes. This time we will interface this module, the RF, the NRF24 uh, L01, to the Raspberry Pi module. Okay, so uh, now let's talk about the connection again. So, as we can see here, again, this is the pinout for the NRF module. If we hold it like this, okay, we can see the antennas here. It's referring to here, and this is the crystals here. If you hold it like this, then we will have the pin out in this diagram. RQ, MISO, MOSI, SCK, SCN, CE, BCC, and ground. Okay, and here we have already talked about this in the last video to connect the NRF to the Arduino Uno. Now, we will try to connect the NRF to the Raspberry Pi. So in the Raspberry Pi, again, we connect the, uh, the IRQ. We will not connect to any pin. The CE to GBIO 5, CSN to GBIO 8, VCC 3.3 volt, ground to ground, SCK to GBIO number 11, MOSI to GBIO number 10, and MISO to GBIO number nine okay and again want to mention that is good to add a capacitor between the VCC and the ground of the module to boost up the power and double double confirm that you connect to the 3.3 volt and ground to the module okay so here I already built a, a hat for this uh, Raspberry Pi so we can see here, connect to the to this pin header, and already solder the, the 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 connection between the Raspberry Pi and the NRF module. Okay, so I guess we have done with the hardware communication. Let's go and do the uh, software. Okay, guys. So first of all. We start with the transmitter code in this tutorial. So uh, again, I have uh, already wrote the code for you to save some time in this tutorial. Uh, so first of all, we include the libraries that be needed in this uh, in this code, which is the SPI, because we are interfacing the radio using the SPI interface, and also the NRF24L01 library. These two libraries, or this actually is one library, uh, you can find a lot of tutorials online how to uh, download uh, and include these libraries into the Arduino uh, folders. If you still don't know how to do it, please let me know. I will try to make another tutorial of how to include the libraries into the Arduino uh, IDE. Okay, and also uh, printf.h. Here I, I will use a counter, which is i. Later we see why. We, we try to send not only a string this time, but we try to send string plus some uh, numbers or some uh, integers. <clears throat> okay, so here we create our object of the RF24. Our object name is radio with CE and CSN pin of 8 and 9 respectively. Okay, in our setup function, first we try if there is no uh, serial is communicating, then it will uh, open the serial. Then after this will be start to begin the radio. Okay, then we we use this address which is 
uh, will be identical in both in the transmitter and the receiver. Okay, we use this to open the pipe or establish the pipe between the transmission uh, transmitter and the receiver. Uh, and within this pipe, there are different channels. For this time, we use channel 77. Sorry, here should be channel 77. And also, we set the, the, the radio power amplifier to the max. Okay, and also we enable the dynamic. Uh, payloads and since this is the transmitter node so we will stop listening in this radio no need to listen to any income buckets and then after we finish all this setup we just print on the serial that transmitter is okay okay uh, in our load this is the message we will send to the receiver which is hello the you space plus this is the, car, the, the counter that we uh, declare uh, beforehand here okay this is the counter we add it to the string we add it to the string like this okay so now we send hello to you plus uh, the counter okay then we we set the length we calculate the length of our string our str by using str.length, this function will return the length of our uh, string. <clears throat> then we add one for the null terminator. Okay. Then we prepare some buffer or array uh, to to replace the string into the buffer by using this command. Okay. We convert the string into array of characters. Okay. The string we convert to character array into the name of text that we already declare here with the same length that we calculated here okay then we just uh, write this data that we already calculate we already find it here we send it or write it to the radio to be sent to the receiver side then at the same time we will print our data on the serial monitor and wait for 100 milliseconds okay so that's all. Let's upload it and see how it works. Okay, it's compiling and uploading. Okay, done. So if we open the serial monitor. Okay, here we go. So transmitter, okay, then start to send the, the characters of hello to you plus the uh, counter. Okay, so we have finished with the transmitter. Now we will move to the uh, receiver side, which is the Raspberry Pi. So now we will start to do the Python coding for the receiver on the Raspberry Pi side. So as you can see here, I have two files. Okay, uh, one is for the program itself for the receiver code, and the other one is the library that we need it to to talk to the uh, uh, NRF radio uh, and first of all uh, I guess you can find a lot of tutorials online teach you how to uh, download this library and uh, how to use it in your system <clears throat> so I will not talk about it today however if you still uh, need this uh, step please let me know and I will do it for you Plus, also, don't forget to activate your SPI interface in the uh, Raspberry Pi. If I'm not mistaken, you need to go to um, Accessories. Uh, no, Preferences. Should be somewhere here. Uh, appearance setting, radio keeper. Uh, Raspberry Pi configuration. Then you need to go for Interfaces and here is this SPI should be enabled then you need to reboot your Raspberry Pi so I already done so I need to do this again okay so let's get started so here I, I open already this one the base station uh, base station code or what they call the receiver okay so as we see here first we want to import the Raspberry Pi GBIO library time SPI uh, development library also and also import the library that we 
that we already download for the NRF radio. Okay, first of all, we will set the GBIO uh, mode as GBIO.BCM. Then we start with the NRF setting, with the radio setting. The pipe here is uh, related to the address, actually. You can change this to address. Uh, again, which is same what we said early in the, uh, in the Arduino on the transmitter, which is uh, E8E8F0F0EL. Okay, and um, uh, again, then we define the radio as an NRF for the GBIO and SPI uh, interface. Uh, the radio will be started on 0 and 5. This is the CE and CSN pin that we already uh, talked about early in this video. And also we will set the payload to payload size to 32 bit. This is the maximum. It's 32 and uh, sorry 32 byte. And the channel is 77, exactly the same what we said for the uh, transmitter. Okay, the the data rate will be 1 megabit per second and the power amplifier level will be minimum for the receiver and for the acknowledgement set acknowledgement will be false and enable the dynamic payload okay and also we will uh, enable the acknowledgement payload okay now we will open the channel between the transmitter and receiver with the same pipe that we declare or the same uh, address that we declare in between the transmitter and receiver and then since this is the receiver uh, raspberry pi will be the receiver so it will be start listening okay so now after we finish the setup we come to the uh, while loop we're continuously executing the code First, we will check if there is no radio connection available or there's no, sorry, there's no packet available, the sleep. Then we just will go to sleep for a short time, then wake up again to check if there is available packet. If the radio got available packets, then it will come to execute uh, this one. Uh, so, if uh, the radio got available, then first we declare an uh, empty buffer to store the, 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 the received data. And then we use this instruction to read the data and store it inside the buffer. Okay. Uh, then we declare another string with empty characters. And we use a for loop. Okay. For every uh, character inside the received. For every character inside the receive whereby we declare here and we store the data in this instruction we use to store the data inside the receive buffer okay uh, as long as n is more than uh, 32 bit so 32 and uh, less than uh, 126 then this one is mean good uh, got a character inside it's not empty or not got uh, a noun on any uh, like uh, a noun character inside between 32 and 126 is mean there is a character inside so it will be stored inside the string we're converting the characters the array of characters into string we convert from the ascii to string okay and then after we finish then we will print out uh, what we got from the string here we print it out to the uh, to the shell then we flush the radio to to delete all the old messages or all data and we clean up after we finish uh, okay so when we run now and by the way now I, I turn off the transmitter so just to uh, test the receiver without the transmitter so after we run we can see here still continue printing the got 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 dot it mean only print this one it didn't continue to print any other else actually it shouldn't print because from here since there is no radio available 
it should be stuck here in this loop. It shouldn't con go further. That means this library is not uh, is not being uh, it cannot be used for 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 the NRF anymore because it's not updated for a long time. Uh, I guess due to the mismatch of the frequency mismatch and some other stuff. So therefore, even though now if I connect again the connect the, the transfer is still now the transmitter I can see is transmitting but we got nothing even though we stop and run again we still got nothing okay uh, this one I have already solved this issue and re-upload the, the, the NRF library again okay and uh, stay with me I will show you how to solve this issue okay so this is our folder where we can see this is the old library now we go to the terminal and we try to download the, the new library that I have modified for the uh, NRF radio. Uh, so now we clone the, the library image again. We use the git clone https from the github.com slash Challenger Tech Slash Lit underscore an RF twenty four underscore pi. Okay, so it's cloning now. Okay, done. So after it's finished cloning, okay. So we come here, open the file, then we can see these two files. We just copy the library, then we go back again, we paste it. They ask us, Do you want override? Yes, please override. So now we have the new library. Okay, now when we go to the to run our code again, okay, now we can see its work already. We can bring this up, okay? So we can see here it will print all our our information from the from the radio radio information. Then it will stop directly after after here. This means it will be stuck here because there's no uh, packet come from the uh, transmitter. So now if I uh, activate the transmitter, now we can receive our packet from the transmitter, which is hello that you plus the counter that we are doing we, we done already just now okay so now if i disable or this uh, turn off the transmitter there we go it stop again and when i connect back again it will continue to receive the data so by this we can see that we already solved the issue happened with the old uh with the old library because it's not updated for a long time and there is a mismatch in the frequency and some other stuff. So I have already uh, fixed this thing and I up, uh, upload it in the GitHub and I will share the link with you in the description down below. Okay, so until here we, we have finished our tutorial for this one. Uh, thank you very much and see you again in the newer tutorials.